Hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. Today we're going to be working on the 99 Ram 2500 Dodge truck, 5.9 Cummins powered, manual transmission. Been a wonderful truck. Two and a half years I've owned this thing. I got a lot of questions on previous videos asking me for updates and uh, how, how do you like the truck, this, that, and the other thing. So I figured I would just kind of group everything together into this video. Today what we're doing is we went on eBay and for $53 I got a set of headlights delivered to my own house. And at this point in the ownership of this truck, like I said, I think it's about two and a half years, I've tried polishing these headlights twice. They come out really nice, they last a couple months and then they look like garbage again. I used a uh, rub-on sealer the first time, plastic sealer, uh, but it really didn't last that long and then I used a spray clear coat the last time that was maybe a year ago and within about 90 90 to 120 days it just started looking cloudy again so for like I said about 53 bucks it's done these are new if they last 20 years that's fantastic if they don't that's fine too the inside reflectors of these headlights are also kind of skunky you'll see I'm goofing around with this headlight here I don't know how to get these things apart truth be told I don't have a lot of experience with the body of this generation Dodge so I'm fiddling around with it, trying my best not to break things and scratch paint and whatnot. But I figure it out, as I usually do. Um, yeah, and everything about this truck, mechanically, I'm really happy with. You know, back in, I think it was November, I replaced the uh, injection pump. Sorry, I got distracted. Cleo's walking around here. I replaced the injection pump last November with a thoroughbred diesel and pump from them rebuilt pump from them and it's it runs like a clock it just runs like a well-oiled clock it's a it's a great truck mechanically and that's ultimately what i bought this thing for engine transmission drive axles is what i bought this rig for the truck in and of itself i think is is mediocre at best the, the dodge trucks the fit and finish of the dodge truck leaves a lot to be desired i've driven a lot of vehicles in my day pickups uh, included and uh, yeah you know if it wasn't for the powertrain I would not own this truck let's just put it that way but you make do with the the shell that's around the power plant that gets me to where I gotta get but the new IP works well the um, gauges that I put in here the pyrometer exhaust um, exhaust gas temperatures EGTs the boost gauge the fuel pressure gauge all work well the, and I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on the Cover King seat covers, and I don't know. I'm still torn on these things. Mechanically, they're they're good. You know, the uh, not mechanically. Structurally, they're good. The, the neoprene is fine. The stitching is holding together. The material, you know, looks good. The, the dye they use leaves a lot to be desired. This truck faces where it normally parks. The passenger side is what faces south east southeast yeah and it gets the bulk of the sun and it within the first year maybe even a little less I didn't really pay too close attention but I did notice that they started fading and changing colors they just they, they look a little blotchy I don't know I would I buy cover King covers again oh you'll see the low beams out right there um, I would probably buy cover King I don't know if I'd buy the black ones um, because they just they don't the dye doesn't seem to hold up but, you know, it is it is what it is, I suppose. Um, everything else about the truck is good. I like the rims that I put on it. The tires, of course, can't go wrong with BFG all terrains. And everything else about it is just, it's a great running truck. I really, really do like it. But the headlights have been bugging me for a while. I do want to put, they sold these kits on eBay that had the driving lights. I think for about 80 bucks, I could have got the four-piece headlight assembly, and then the two driving lights, the little round lights that go in the holes there on the uh, cutouts of the bumper. And I don't know that I want to do uh, filament light fixtures in there. So I, I didn't buy that kit. I'm going to be on the hunt for some LED lights to fit in there, and I may actually go with rectangular. The biggest ones I can fit within the confines of that cutout, if you know what I mean, without blocking any air to the intercooler or the radiator. Uh, but I do feel I need some extra light. I want you to well, take a peek here. I think I'm talking. 
the but I made it that out. The, the fit and finish is good. That's the first one. I think I'm telling you that the gaps all look fine. They look as good as they always did. I put a couple scratches in that plastic, but um, they'll gray out like the rest of it. Check out the date stamp on this headlight. It is... Um, these are the original headlights of the truck, and if you recall, I, in the beginning of the video, I said this was a 1999 truck. And here we are coming in with July of 98. July 20th, 1998 is a date stamp on that passenger side headlight. And I know both beams worked, I'm most certain both beams worked before I got into this. That one's June, was that June 8th of 98? So, um, I think just the banging around of that light, that light fixture before I pulled the light bulb out of it broke the filament. I mean, after 20, 21 years, I'm sure they're, they're pretty darn brittle. But that one there, that June of 98 works fine. I do have that sitting on the shelf. The other one I tossed. And I'm going to keep it as a spare because you never know. But uh, I figure I was due. I got new headlights. I'm due. That's what I ended up getting was the Sylvania 9004s. Those are the brightest you can go whitest and brightest without getting into the blue spectrum of headlights and i'm not a big fan of that i could have gone hids but um i just i didn't want to i didn't want to deal with that shush i didn't want to i didn't want to go through the that whole modification it just wasn't that important to me and it's easier for me just to add some led driving lights in the bumper there like we talked about but quick trip to the old riley's there got me a set of uh headlights and it's getting late in the day and i'm getting cold and i think i just got a haircut when i took this video so my head was head was was a little shilly now of course the driver's side went a little easier because i figured out how to goof it all up on the passenger side but um, we're getting her in there we're getting her in there so thanks for watching listen i appreciate you stopping in and watching this video the update on the truck is the truck is nice. It's good. It gets great gas mileage. It has not let me down. The injection pump works like a champ. Everything else I've done to it, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I don't really intend to do much else to it other than just drive it till the wheels fall off. So there's that. But I do appreciate you watching. Like I said, we're just going to kind of wrap this video up. I'm going to fade out here into the distance because my dog is looking out the window trying to figure out. Let's see who's out there walking around. All right. Got to go. Got to run. See ya.